happy Monday. Today's video is going to be a day in the life of a small business owner. I thought this video would be cool because usually my vlogs are a week long and they're a mishmash of different things, but I wanted to take you along for one day from start to finish and there is no better day like Monday. My spirits are high, my to-do list is long, and I think it's gonna be fun, so come along. This year I'm following the Bible in a year with my church from the Bible Project, just a chronological reading. But I like this one because it shows the different Bible Project videos. So last week I picked up these pink papers from Desserts and I thought they would make the cutest Valentine's Day backdrops. I have a couple of my products here that I wanted to showcase. It is now 11.36 a.m. and I just spent the last hour-ish filming my latest TikTok video. I just sat right here in front of my laptop and read off of some notes I wrote on my laptop and then I was able to export my TikTok and then I posted it as a reel as well on my Instagram. I've been having a really hard time trying to get onto TikTok. It's something that I was very resistant to, but one of my 2022 goals is to be more active on TikTok because clearly it's here to stay. Could have told you that last year too. Another thing about TikTok is that like the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And it was the same thing for Instagram too. I am trying my best to make a TikTok like every other day. Today was actually the first video where I showed my face on TikTok and I just talked through some of my process for how to find a printer. Last night I did kind of script it out so that I could be more efficient with my words. I filmed it with my iPhone, spoke to the camera, cut it up a bit, uploaded it, and I just finished something really big for my Monday morning. Feels great. I'm now gonna head out to my parents. That is where my fulfillment center is in their basement. And I'm gonna pack some orders that I got over the weekend. Getting ready to go out and it's like a blizzard out there. I don't even think you can see it on the camera, but there, there's a lot of snow falling right now. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so cold today. Like, I'm not even outside, I'm in my parking garage and it's freezing. Normally on days like today, I probably wouldn't leave my house um, because I don't like driving in a blizzard. It's been a few days since I've packed orders and so there are orders from last Wednesday or Thursday that haven't been shipped out yet. So they must go out today. I believe today or tomorrow is the last um, is my deadline that I've set for myself for my processing times. We're heading over. Thankfully, it's only a 10 minute drive. Did you eat lunch yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had delicious pasta. Mm, good. Very good. What are you I'm packing orders now. Hi, Shell. Okay, bye. All right, guys, welcome to our fulfillment center. This is my parents' basement. It's a very humble and modest space. It's AKA quite small. It's a mess in here. Uh, last week, I was cleaning up all my Christmas inventory, so I do have a lot of Christmas cards left because I ordered around 6,000 cards. Did not sell them all. So I'm cleaning out the Christmas stuff so I can put it in a different storage space and then I'm bringing out my Valentine's Day stuff. I'm also making space for all my Mother's Day cards that are going to come soon so yeah that is very exciting. Um, today I'm going to pack some of the weekend orders. Yeah just get stuff organized for the week here. This right here is my little workstation. I have my label printer there, my art print printer and then yeah all our inventory all throughout this room. And then here in the middle, we have my paper cutter and all the boxes underneath. It's quite the space. <laughs> Before we start packing orders, I need to print my order slips and yes, it is a waste of paper but um, it's just made my packing process way easier. And I like to reuse paper so I keep old packing slips here and then 
just refill the tray with the old paper and then it will print on the other side. quite a few box set orders so I'm going to make a couple of these plastic boxes so that I can put in my set of eight greeting cards. Each order gets a cute little postcard and it has Fun little design. I see some people taping this up by their desk, which is so fun. Alright guys, it is now 3 p.m. I'm pretty pooped from packing. We are now gonna head over to Chit Chats where I drop off my packages and it's on the way home for me. It was a short time here, but we got everything done. Just gonna do a bit of cleanup and we will be on our way. Guys, we're back home. It is so dark in here because it's so gloomy outside. I'm going to spend some time on the computer doing some emails with a little afternoon snack and then it'll be dinner time. I picked up some Timbits along the way. These are the only survivors after Alex and I both got into it. My current carbonated water beverage of choice is Aha. Uh -huh. I bought a huge box of it last week, so now I have to finish it, but it's pretty good. I love using Notion, as you can see on the side here, I have a million different tabs. But my Monday to-do list, it was a humble little list and the day's not over yet. And I actually wrote some content. So this morning I did my first TikTok on how I find my manufacturing partners. And these were the notes that I collected and I just basically read out each bullet point in my TikTok video. Um, tomorrow I have one planned and that one is called the most important thing to look for in a manufacturing partner. I actually wrote scripts for three or four videos following that one. So I have that done. And then here is Shopify. I started making my wholesale page. So last year I was on Squarespace and this is what my wholesale page looked like. I had a fair widget here and people were able to download my catalog by filling out this form and my terms and conditions were here. And now that I'm on Shopify, I have to create a new form again. Um, find a way to link everything and hopefully figure out how to get a fair widget on this page as well. It's been a long day, it's well past dinner time, so let's get dinner going. Alex and I both worked so long today. Normally we're done by five, but this week and last week we've been working till like seven every day. It's rough, rough times. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Can we go? Mm -hmm. I am throwing together a salad. But my salad mix is going bad, so I'm just picking out the pieces that look okay. There's some like really soggy pieces in this, and I don't know why because it's still way earlier than the expiry date. Okay, so welcome to my cooking show. We are going to make my go-to everyday salad. First up, we gotta have some of these cherry tomatoes. Next up, we have this aged cheddar cheese. I love this cheese. That is for me to snack on. Okay, I sprinkled some salt, drizzled some olive oil, 
we are going to add this delicious balsamic glaze once I plate the salad. And for Alex, and a little side for myself, we're gonna have a little bit of seafood linguine. Mm, oh my gosh, it's a lot of glaze. It's gonna be really good. My mom made some seafood pasta today. It was really good, I had some for lunch. She packed us some for home. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Pick a show, any show. I don't know what to watch. Let's watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I am about to wash off my makeup, wash off the day. Thank you for spending the day with me. Today was a pretty chill day. I'm gonna be using this butter cleanser to remove my makeup. My favorite makeup remover. And then after I'm using this um, drunk elephant jelly cleanser. It's a very mild cleanser that Alex and I share. I currently love Paula's Choice products. It's my first time using them. So far, so good. I'm gonna keep it simple and just finish off with the face cream. He <laughs> said, <laughs> relax. He said, relax. Follow your instructions. Take pressure out of your wrist, baby. 